since I have posted. I wanted to give an update of where I've been for the past two weeks and why I haven't posted for the past two weeks. Hopefully you all can hear me. I'm driving right now. I am currently on my way home from work and I figured this was the best time to talk because I have a 40 minute drive about, yeah, 40 minutes I probably have to drive. So I figured I'd jump on here and give you a raw, unedited video. So there will be a lot of mistakes a lot of breathing that I can't edit out because I don't want to edit it out, quite frankly. And um, yeah, I'm going to just tell you where I've been, what I've been up to, what I've done the past two weeks, and everything else. So to begin, I hope everybody is safe from the tornado and the hurricane watch that happened on Wednesday. I thankfully I was not in the part of New Jersey that was affected as badly. I know northern parts of New Jersey got affected tremendously as well as parts of New York and Pennsylvania. So I am very grateful that my part of New Jersey did not get hit as badly as any other part, but I do feel sorry for those who were affected by it. I saw a lot of flooding. I saw videos of tornadoes touching the ground. It, it's scary, very scary to have that happen here. And it's happened not once, but twice within I think the past year or so. So that's very crazy that that happened. Also, I wanted to just give a little update on how I'm doing as well. I have not been okay. I've not been okay for a couple of months now. And you wouldn't know because in my videos that I post, I'm gonna turn the air down because I'm getting a little chilly. In my videos that I post, and I hope I don't get teary-eyed and start crying while I'm driving because that's not safe. <laughs> I have not been okay for the past couple months and you wouldn't be able to tell that in the past couple months that I've posted because I look so happy and cheerful and everything. But behind the camera, once I turn that camera off, it's a whole nother story that you're not seeing on camera. And I have just been very like, I have been going through a lot with my emotions and I have not been okay. I, there are a multitude of things that have been on my mind and that have been upsetting me and I have days where I'm okay I have days where I get severely depressed I get days where I'm anxious and angry and I know that's not me I know that's not me I'm not myself right now and I haven't been for some time now and there are a multitude of reasons for that. Uh, to start, I, you know, I have had some trouble with some friends. I'm not going to be one of those people who put people on blast in videos on YouTube. I'm not that kind of person, nor will I ever be. But what I will say is I'm starting to realize at my age, and I know I'm not that old, I'm 26, this is actually my birthday month, I will be turning 27 on the 29th of September, I am a Libra, and uh, I'm just realizing now, as I get older, I'm realizing who my real friends are, and I'm realizing who I can and can't say things to, and I'm realizing people's true colors a lot lately and it's a shame because some of the people 
that I wouldn't expect to act the way that they do have acted a way that's just shocked me completely and I just I'm so beside myself and I just I never thought it was going to affect me the way that it has been and I have been talking with Nick's therapist and you know like I me and him we have been doing like group therapy sessions me him and the therapist there have been times where I have just talked with her separately there have been times where he's talked with her separately she's more so his therapist than mine anyway but the main conclusion that we came to in the last session that we had was that I need to seek my own personal therapist and all I will say to everybody is that if you know something is wrong and you know you need somebody to vent to and you know you need somebody to talk to, do not be ashamed to reach out for help. Do not be afraid to go to a therapist because... It's, there is no shame in it. There's nothing wrong with it. If you need professional help, there's nothing wrong with seeking it. And I know in my past, I was in therapy. When I was very young, I was in therapy. Probably about 11 or 12 years old, I was in therapy. I had some anger issues and my mother thought it was the best thing to do for me at the time. I was young and naive. I didn't want to do it. I didn't see a point in it. I just thought it was useless and it wasn't going to get me anywhere. And eventually over the years I mellowed out. There were moments in my early 20s where I had considered it as well. But at the time I thought I didn't need it. I thought I was at a good place in my life where I was okay. I wasn't bad and I wasn't good. But I was okay. I was able to manage through things. And I was able to get through things a lot. But now I'm just to a point where there has been so many things that have been happening. And I just, I broke. I broke. I am so broken. And I'm trying to slowly pick up the pieces and mend myself back together and I'm so grateful I'm so grateful that I have good friends and good people in my life that can help me through these hard times and be there and be patient with me and it just really sucks because the reason why I guess I'm so dependent on my friends is because like I don't really feel like my family is all that much there for me and you know I know you're probably saying like oh what if your family watches these videos well some of them do and some of them don't and to the ones that do watch it I hope you know that this doesn't pertain to you but you know, there are, there have been some times in my life where my family hasn't been there for me when I needed them. And it sucks because, you know, family is everything to me. The little family that I do have, my little intermediate family that I have, it means a lot to me. But unfortunately, there have been some things that have been going on. Uh, unfortunately, it's out of my control. I've done everything that I can to try to alleviate the situation. And now I'm just to a point where I'm hurt. I'm hurt because of the actions that are going on around me. And I'm hurt by who it's affecting. But I'm just trying my best to honestly stay out of it because... I've done all that I can and I need to focus on myself and I need to work on myself and fixing myself because
because in the end, you only have yourself. Sure, you have friends, you have family and whatever, but you have yourself. You are your best friend. You are your biggest supporter. And I am trying to keep motivating myself and keep believing that. But, you know, some days are harder than others. Which brings me into my next thing I want to talk about. In my past couple videos, I don't know if anybody has noticed, but I am not wearing my engagement ring. Why am I not wearing my engagement ring? Well, I won't go into details about it, but I will say that currently Nick and I are not together. We are trying to work things out. The outcome of things is we are trying to get back together. But the problem is I'm not happy. And I want to be happy with myself before I can be happy with somebody. And Nick has been very patient and very kind with me. And, you know, in the past, this had happened with him before too, where he got into this state of being depressed and feeling alone like I'm feeling right now. And I was here for him. But, you know, he's doing the same for me and it's just just been having a very hard time with working on myself and I'm sure you guys are wondering well why did you guys break up what happened I'm not getting into those details I'm sorry but I just don't feel like that's the right information to share on the internet what is between us is between us and I would like to keep it that way and I hope you all will understand that only certain people in our lives know the situation that we're in and that's how it's going to stay but what I will say is that we are working on getting back together we are working on working things out and everything has been good for the most part we we've been okay but you know I've had my moments these past couple months where I haven't been okay you know, as has he, but I've been showing it a lot more than he has. And, you know, he also, Nick, also moved in with me recently. So we are now living together. And again, I'm sure you guys are going to say, well, if you guys aren't together, how come you moved in together? As I said, the outcome of things is that we are planning to get back together but Nick pretty much said to me that when I'm ready when I'm better when I'm happy then we will continue where we left off but I'm trying not to get emotional while I'm driving but this is just a touchy subject for me. Uh, so yeah, I haven't been okay. And I haven't had any kind of motivation to want to film a YouTube video for a while. And I'm sorry for that. To those who enjoy watching my content. All 62 subscribers that I have. I, uh... I'm really sorry that I haven't been posting and I do have some things that I would like to do in upcoming videos that maybe you will see. I don't know. 
Uh, I'm going to be going away in two weeks to Portland, Maine with Nick and one of my best friends and her fian now fiance. I will probably vlog the trip because I think that would be a really nice opportunity for you guys to see. And um, as well as vlogging the trip, my birthday, as I said, is this month. And I will probably be showing you guys what I got for my birthday. If I do get things for my birthday, if I don't, then I really don't care because, you know, it's just another day. And I know that's really, well, for me, that's really weird to say because I never used to think like that about my birthday. My birthday is usually a special time for me every year. But this year, I've just been like so all over the place that even my birthday hasn't meant anything to me. And I that sounds so sad to say, but it's just it's just how I've been feeling. And um you know, I'll probably be doing some videos this upcoming month just to, you know, show you guys what I got for my birthday, the birthday trip that I will be going on and possible other birthday plans that will be coming up in this next month or this month. Uh, the past two weeks have been, you know, they've been something else. They've been fun. They've been wild, adventurous. This past weekend, I had, it was supposed to be a pool party, an end of summer pool party, but because of the weather, I was unsure if the pool was safe to go in because of the weather and also our pool was not maintained properly so it ended up just being an end of summer party and it ended up being a lot of fun everybody had a good time I had too good of a time and I ended up being embarrassed about it afterward because I just felt so embarrassed that I got belligerent not like completely belligerent but I was so sick that I couldn't say goodbye to people and that upset me because I wanted to say goodbye to people and I wanted to remember the rest of the night and I ended up getting sick. But it was still a wonderful time regardless of that. Everybody else had a wonderful time and that makes me happy. Everybody always says I know how to throw good parties and I'm not trying to toot my own horn with that but that's just what I've heard over the years. And um, the weekend before that, I went to Atlantic City to go and see Jeff Dunham with Courtney. And then I also hung out with Jen and some other friends and Nick. But I was also supposed to have a makeup gig, as you know from my last video that I have on here. Unfortunately, that did not work out. The guy ended up canceling on me the day of the event and I figured it was too good to be true but you know things things don't always work out and you know I was really looking forward to that opportunity to start a portfolio and stuff like that for makeup but I guess it just wasn't the time and it wasn't meant to be at that time but maybe in the near future an opportunity will come up for me where I can do that but it just wasn't that time um, and uh, yeah I think that pretty much sums up about what I've been doing these past two weeks I you know oh I went to the beach the day before my party with my family I also went to the beach a week before that with my family and Nick because I wanted to try to go to the beach before the summer ended and we did and it was a lot of fun I I know I don't look like I have much color anymore but you know I got a little bit of color this summer and I'm happy about that I also got my hair cornrowed for my party uh, I'm supposed to be possibly going with Nick to crash 
his chiropractor that he worked with, that he works with wedding. And so I, um, I wanted to keep my hair in the cornrows for that so that I can curl the rest of my hair because I don't have it cornrowed all the way. I only have it cornrowed halfway. So I am going to do my hair in curls for the wedding if we go. And then I don't know what is in store for the rest of the week because I don't think we really have a plan, honestly. But, um, yeah, I, uh, that is what's been going on with me. I thought you guys would like to have a nice little update of everything I've been going through and what I have going on, what's been going on, what's to come. Oh, what's to come. Uh, I may have a video up next week. I won't guarantee it. If I do, you know, if you have your notifications turned on, make sure to look out for it. If I don't have one, I hope you understand. Things are crazy. I have um, a lot going on with myself. And as I said, Nick just moved into my house. So now I have a lot of things going on with that as well. It's all new for me. These are all new changes. I'm not used to being with somebody in my house after so many years of being by myself. So there's a lot of things coming for me, changes, things I have to work on. Uh, I will be looking into going to a therapist for my mental health because I need it. And I think it will benefit me a lot in the long run if I were to do that. And um, yeah. I uh, I hope you guys understand why I took two weeks off from posting and I hope you look forward to what I have in store for you this month and I hope that you guys are doing well and just make sure that you focus on yourself, be the best you you can be. I'm at the ATM right now. Be the best you you can be. Keep your head up. If you need help, seek it. Friends, family, anybody, a professional, don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. And I will see you in my next video, which will hopefully be a more positive video than this. And yeah. Bye, guys. Mwah.